The Little Flower. Once upon a time, there lived a little girl named Therese Martin who lived in Massou, France. Therese loved Jesus very much. She loved him with not just a little bit, but with her whole heart. Loving God made Therese happy. However, Therese was very young. She knew that because she was little, she could not do big things for Jesus. She could not travel to far off lands and tell people about Jesus. She could not serve the poor like the great saints. She could not be like her older sisters who went away to the Carmelite convent, spending their days in prayer. Therese wanted to do great things for Jesus too, but how could she do something so big when she was so small? Jesus often spoke to Therese's heart, and one day he answered her question by telling the story of a little flower. There once was a garden full of many flowers. Everyone who passed the garden stopped to admire their bright colors and fragrant smells. The gardener was pleased that the flower made the people happy. He was glad to share their beautiful colors and fragrances with anyone who wanted to enjoy the garden. But there were other flowers in the garden as well. But unlike the roses and lilies, these flowers were small and ordinary. Buttercups and bluebells, daisies and dandelions periwinkle and primrose and pennies. These flowers were so small and ordinary, people often passed without even noticing them. This made one particular flower, Pansy, very sad. When the gardener saw how sad Pansy was, he knelt down beside her. Why are you so sad, my little Pansy? He asked, oh master, cried Pansy. Everyone comes into the garden to admire the big flowers. But the little flowers, like me, are too small and ordinary. What good are little flowers if no one notices us? The gardener smiled. It is true that the world notices the big flowers, and that is why I planted them, so their splendor might draw people into the garden. The gardener gently lifted a petal on Pansy's face. But little Pansy, it is not true that no one notices you. When I kneel to till the soil, what do you think I see? What? The little flower asked. The gardener leaned very close to Pansy and whispered, I see you. When I sit in my garden and curl my toes in the warmth of the soil, I see my little flowers scattered upon the earth in the bright and cheerful colors. Is this the beauty of the small, simple flowers that makes me smile? And someday my little flower who flower, those rest in my, in my garden will notice you. Pansy understood. She might be little, but she could be as beautiful as the lily or the rose in her own little way. She might be little, but that cannot make her less important to the gardener. Therese understood too. You see, the gardener in the story represents Jesus. The flowers are his friends. The garden is his church. And what do you think the little flower is? Yes, the little flower is St. Therese. Therese came to understand that, like the flowers, some people serve God in big ways. And some people serve God in little ways. Even some little is beautiful to Jesus. Even someone who serves God in little ways can make him smile. Therese felt that God was calling her to be little, just like Pansy. And from that moment on, Therese nicknamed herself the Little Flower. Her way of serving God would be little, just like Pansy. But her way would be done with great love.